Superman. And the list delivers another, well, soap opera episode, sure, but they do it well. There's some Superman action in here and uh, some of some of uh, steel and all that. Um, but the the threads that they've uh, uh, developed, I, they're intriguing enough, uh, even though it's kind of stuff you've seen before, especially in soap operas. I mean, you've got this young couple and little do they know <laughs> they're part of their t respective families are mortal enemies. <laughs> hey, that's as old as Romeo and Juliet. And so there's the deal. Uh, Natalie's going to go meet her boyfriend's uh, parents. And she uh, has no idea what they're about or what they've done and all that stuff. And everything's nice. You know, there's, there's Bruno Mannheim, <laughs> the mob boss of Metropolis, <laughs> who runs Intergang. <laughs> And his supervillain wife, um, who's already killed people with her sonic powers and all that stuff. <laughs> but it appears their son is completely clueless about this. They've shielded him from all of that. And, uh, of course, uh, especially uh, his mother wants to meet this girl. And everything's going fine. Uh, but meanwhile, um, John Henry Irons goes to meet his alternate world sister uh the, the, she's from this planet he's from the other and all that and they met recently uh, in an earlier episode and they've stayed in contact and all that and she's aware of the manheim and all that because uh that's what happened uh, to her brother as supposedly manheim uh, bumped him off although there's a little bit of a tease here that suggests perhaps that's not the case so anyway but that's what she believes happened. And um, so John Henry Irons is talking to her and they're talking about, you know, the similarities of their upbringings and their, their father and all that. He's talking about, well, I'm a little nervous. My girl's dating this boy and he seems all right, but all that. And she's like, ah, oh, don't be like dad was. And there's so many similarities between uh, the two, I mean, the, the alternate earths, <laughs> how things played out that it, his father and her father were pretty much the same guy. But anyway, he's going on and says, well, she's going to meet their parent, his parents and all that stuff. And he mentions the restaurant and then his sister is like, uh, <laughs> and she realizes who this is. She tells him <laughs> the look on his face, you know, and like, Oh no. <laughs> of course, Bruno had told him he never wanted to see his face again. Uh, but he shows up at the restaurant. He's got to go get his daughter. He's going to put a stop to all of this. And uh, the boyfriend actually sees him and says, Hey, look, your dad's here. And then Bruno turns around. Oh, yeah. And he says, Oh, man. <laughs> it's you. <laughs> and all hell breaks loose. And uh, he gets, uh, John Henry Irons gets beaten by his goons. Bruno decides he's going to kill the guy. Uh, all this. And that's the point I'm getting to about the assumption is that Bruno had killed this earth, John Henry Irons. And he pulls a gun out and he says, I'm going to do what I should have done all along. And so I'm wondering, is, is he aware of this to the point that he believes that this is not the same John Henry Irons or did he not kill John Henry Irons? And he thinks he's just back. So it perhaps leaves it open that his, doppelganger will show up at some point so you know maybe they're doing that i don't know uh they deal with uh lois's illness uh with quite a few touching scenes of her being sick and all this and uh getting weak uh she and she's feeling like she should abandon the manheim story because now she knows that is she's be, you know she's become quite close friends with bruno's wife um and uh, did, doesn't want to hurt her after what she's going through with her cancer and all that. Uh, but then uh, her dad brings in a bunch of files about Manheim's, Manheim's uh, organization <laughs> from Argus. And and he's like, look, uh, his wife's no better than him. <laughs> and so she's like, yeah, all right. <laughs> and uh, they continue to investigate uh, Bruno Manheim's organization and all that, including her. 
and then they start to, uh, and then Clark and Chrissy actually go uh, and investigate. Uh, uh, is it Pila or Pela? I'm forgetting her name, but Manham's wife. And uh, you know they they're putting all the pieces together, and eventually they come across this taped confession of Lex Luthor uh, having uh, uh, seemingly confessing to these murders in Metropolis. And this is what got him sent to prison. Well, they discover it's fake, and it appears that this was trickery on the part of the Mannheims, because Bruno was able to muscle in on uh, uh, Luther's uh, territory, and uh, he's locked away in prison. So, this will lead to, as you know, they've cast a guy to play uh, Luther, and uh, perhaps the season will end on uh, his arrival, I'm not certain. But anyway, they're like, wow, he's, uh, we, we know he's a villain and a nasty guy, but we got him on the wrong thing because it was fake. So there's that aspect of it. So I think once the Mannheim story closes, the Luther story opens. Probably going into their final season, there's uh, rumblings that even though it's a good show, it might not get a fourth season. I would hope it would. If they're able to wrap it up in its third season, then fine. But uh, one more and to plan that out that would give it a good send off uh, would be nice uh, and it would be running against the clock because by the time they, uh, you get to uh, 2025 they're you know they're moving on with their new Superman movie and all that type of stuff uh, even though we just say hey this is the Elseworlds you know and all that but but what have you um, we'll have to wait and see but they're able, to, again, to uh, navigate this stuff even though uh, there's not a whole lot of uh, super action in here. You get that when the, the reveal of John Henry Irons and all that. So he calls in his suit, but uh, Bruno's wife's there. She blasts him with her sonic power. And uh, and then Superman shows up to shield him because she's about to destroy his, his suit of armor even though he's in it. And Superman takes the brunt of the attack. But she can only do so much and then she tires and collapses and near death and uh, Superman says I'm the only one who can get her to the hospital Bruno <laughs> so it's like yeah okay <laughs> so he gets her but she's being held at an Argus facility so uh, they, they've upped the ante quite a bit here I did. I was kind of surprised that they re did the reveal uh, this, this quick but then again I mean how many episodes did they have uh, I, I didn't check <laughs> So, uh, but, you know, it's fine. How long can you keep that? Well, they don't know, uh, you know, who the parents are and all that type of stuff. And it breaks up the, the couple. Uh, so it, it looks like poor Mateo is completely in the dark on this. And uh, he and Natalie have been split up, even though they probably would be all right together. It's just this mess that their families have caused. And uh, well, that's too bad. Uh, would he fall to the dark side? Or will his love for Natalie lead him on the path to light? You know? <laughs> and we'll see. But anyway, the rest of it, uh, the rest of the cast dealing with, with their stuff. There's uh, Jonathan uh, wanting to find his way. He's looking to be a firefighter. And uh, he's seemingly doing okay. Kyle's uh, uh, they award him with his uniform and everything like that and he's telling him to just be an observer they, they're, they're going on to a fire that broke out and uh, but but then uh, Superboy shows up to rescue some people and flies away he goes to give aid to the guy and they think he ran into the building and got the guy so he said that violated the rules and all this sort of stuff and then there's a fight between the boys uh, because Jonathan blames Jordan for putting him in that position, but it, you know Jordan is saving the guy's life. So when he, you know, uh, but it gets nasty. But it also shows the position he's in. You know, his brother got the powers and he didn't. So that's always gonna gnaw at him. And uh, this was his chance to do something heroic. And uh, it, it, you know, your brother's gonna overshadow him like that. Um, so. Of course, the elements are there for that to turn sour, perhaps get manipulated by Luther and turn on the family. I don't think so, but, you know, who knows? Um, 
And then ultimately turn around and realize he's doing the wrong thing or whatever. Uh, but, um, but anyway, uh, it, 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 it's a well-crafted show and it's like, uh, the, the typical, uh, CW, uh, uh, approach of this type of thing would just be so boring and, uh, irritating, <laughs> but it's not here. They develop these characters and, uh, and, and it's, you know, and they've, they've all got their charm unto themselves. So he's like, oh, I wonder how this works out. And that's all you need to do. Um, and then, but still got to have some more super action. But that's expensive to do. So you got to save that uh, for your, uh, probably your final episode. Hopefully not just the final episode, but, you know, you sprinkle it throughout. And that uh, appears what, the, what they do. So another good episode. Again, of course, for Superman and Lois. <laughs>